here with Mason Goldman out of Gretna, Nebraska. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. I think coming in today, you were looked at as the teammate of Zane Flores. I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's the case anymore. MVP here in Kansas City. Talk about your performance a little bit today. Um, did you surprise yourself on just how well you performed? Uh, yeah, walking in here, I'm obviously undersized for the line position. I saw a bunch of big guys walk in, a lot bigger than me. So I just knew I had to hit another gear and put more effort than them into each drill. And then for the 1v1s, I felt like I did a pretty good job against some really good players. Absolutely. With talking about recruiting, obviously things might take off for you after today, but to this point, what teams do you feel like have shown you kind of the most serious interest? Nebraska has shown a lot, and then also North Dakota State, South Dakota State, Eastern Michigan has shown a bunch, and then um, K-State also, and Wyoming. Talking about K-State for a minute, um, you were down there not long ago, I believe, for a spring practice visit. What kind of things stood out to you when you were able to see them live and in person? So like I've told everybody, their education is really good down there. It's one of the best in America, and that's a really big thing for me because I want to go into medicine, which is they have a really good vet program, which is what I wanted to be since I've been growing up. So that really just stands out to me. Coach Riley is, is a guy with Nebraska roots. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like there's a strong connection building between you and him? Yeah, so each time we go down there, he has like a really in-depth conversation with not just me, but also my parents, which is like a big deal for me. I want them to have a good relationship. And he's just shown he's really nice. He's obviously a great coach. And then he's really kept in touch with me throughout this whole recruiting process. I would imagine they want you back for a summer camp. Um, yep. And then do you feel like maybe an offer could be brewing after that? Yeah, one of the main things that all schools want me to do is put on a little bit of weight which I know I need to do. So I've been in the weight room all spring, and then I'm going down there for a camp, and I'm going to a lot of other places for camps. And they just said they want to see me, like, in action, because I've only been there for visits, and I haven't been able to see me much. And they just want to get hands-on with me. How about a timeline for a commitment? How long do you see your recruitment playing out? Uh, I'm really just going to wait it out. I don't want to commit anywhere too early and then just decommit, because I don't feel like that's a right thing to do to a team if you're already saying you're going to go there. So I think I'm just going to wait until the commitment day, and I'll make my decision then. Here in Kansas City, things might just be getting started for MVP Mason Goldman.